seen you into the sky now, obviously, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not acceptable. It's not good enough for us. Um, it's definitely a bit of soul searching going on um, right across the board. It's not just players ourselves as coaches. We look at ourselves because um, ultimately that was not anything near that we want to produce. Yeah, I mean, you finger on way that first half. It just seemed a total lack of energy in around what we do. I thought everyone was probably looking to each other to lead each other out of it. Um, I know you, sometimes you don't get ball for long periods in games, but um, there's different ways of getting into the game. I think that when you haven't got the ball, you can be physical in defence. Um, then when you have, you, you look after it, but we didn't have too many possessions. We had one possession and then we scored from that. And probably that was, well, not probably, it was against a run of play. Flying Dale didn't bring his kick in boots. That could have been much worse than it actually was. Yeah, definitely. That really soft. Um, I think there was some where we've backed up. Um, I think set piece where I think we've been getting better. Um, I know it was different interpretations, but we weren't where we needed to be in the first half. We backed up penalty, penalty of scrum, penalty, cheap penalty of line out. Then we just given Munster easy ins, um, and then their try um, is just it's nothing that we want to represent. If I'm honest. Yeah, it's it's very. Um, how can I say? Um, we I can handle losing games, but I can't handle the application. Um, and I think there was a lack of application, not saying everyone, but there was definitely a lack of application um, in around that first 40 minutes. Which, again, you're just struggling to put your finger on it because the working week we feel has been really positive and where we need to be. I thought the large, um, a lot of good up in Glasgow, which we felt we can build on. But there was definitely no building block. Second half, you could argue we we played a little bit smarter, played the conditions pretty well. But if if we had probably got a well, we got a point. But if we won that game, it would, it would probably been um, not deserved. Yeah, let's like effort is phenomenal. Is probably a little bit out on one or two things, but that's expected. And in fairness to him. It wasn't exactly the way I wanted to bring him back in. We were, we were like to have given him 20, 25 minutes off the bench. Kingy has pulled up ill, um, tried to sort of go through it, but it wasn't the case. And then, um, if any lids just chucks his hand up, he's straight in there. And I think the effort he, he delivers every week is, is spot on. And it's great to see him back. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think like our boys are pretty reflective. They 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 know um, very. F there's not many times I feel I like come in here that I'm devastated or disappointed in around an effort, an application thing, because I think that's what we pride ourselves on. We haven't got certain aspects. We haven't made, you can look at loads of reasons of what you haven't got, but it's our choice in around our attitude and how we pitch up and how we fight and how we go about our business, because you know what months they're going to bring. They're probably not going to running around side to side, they know they're going to squeeze you, you know there's the mundane stuff, the chasing back, making sure you try and help your full back, protect him and around the breakdown, we got pushed off the breakdown a couple of times, a couple of set pieces weren't where we needed to be, so I don't, and I think it's, we can always sit there and talk about learning and reflections, whereas 40 minutes of zebras, decent, second 40, not ruthless enough in around where we wanted to be, then probably Glasgow, I thought they were really good moments from us. Um, we didn't take a couple of opportunities before half time. Then we've really overchased the game in the last 20 minutes, which was just a little bit of immaturity. But again, we thought we'd pitch up today. I'm generally really confident in how we were going to perform today. But that first 40 minutes, like I say, is is nowhere near where we want to or need to be. Steve, obviously, um, there's been a lot of speculation linked to Bruce Webb away. Yeah, I think um, I'm in the, the union and and Reece are in talks and I'm pretty comfortable. Reese is like showing all the signs he, he wants to stay, but you know, in around the market force in France and England, you 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 can't compete or, or get or get anywhere near. Obviously, um, Tom Harvey is a, a good player, but how much of a boost will it be to have Reece back when you know, when he eventually takes the field? Yeah, look, he's, he's a British lion. Arbus has done really well for us. Um, I, I think as a group, we're not delivering at the minute to give 
Unaba as a platform where to go from consistently enough. Um, but yeah, it's always great to have the caliber of Webby, Biggs, Alan Wynn back in the environment. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to give us a boost. Uh, final question for me then. Obviously, um, Dan is leaving next season. Uh, are there plans afoot to, to bring someone in from the other side to, to replace him? No, not at the minute. I think, um, like, obviously, big hopes on Sammy D. Um, I thought he was better today after a long layoff with, with, with a groin injury. So we're, we're really confident in in Sammy D. Um, Luke Price has really developed. He got over a horrific injury a couple of seasons ago. I think he's performed really well and really unlucky to hurt his ankle against um, Bath. And uh, so he was disappointed that he would have probably got, got the nod against Zebras to play maybe a 10, but it's, it's disappointing, so we're pretty comfortable. We've got Hockey to back up, and you, you can't probably replace like for like with Biggs, um, and you can't compete financially with, with teams like that, and we've pri pride ourselves on bringing guys through, and it's something that we feel we, we're confident enough to do that. Yeah, it was big. We, we like we haven't got a lot in around. Um, we've got a couple of things, a couple of sore bodies. It was something we brought bigs back a week earlier than we wanted to. Um, ultimately, we didn't feel at the time we needed to. With Asami and Dan were doing reasonably well, but in the last sort of thing, resort was trying to get that chisel to get the ball back. But yeah, it wasn't something that Dan's done or hasn't done. Is the fact of he's coming back a little bit early, but he'll be featuring fully. Um, not saying start, but featuring fully over the over the up and coming weeks. Yeah, Dimitri is it's a little bit more um, not not difficult, but it's something that there's like he was coming back, fly in, um, and then obviously he played against Bath twenty minutes. It's just shoulder slightly depowered, so we've taken him to see a couple of, a couple of people. We're pretty confident that he'll come back sooner rather than later. Um, he's, he's starting to fire up, fire up again. So hopefully we, we'll see him in the up and coming weeks. Hopefully not too long term. Yeah, definitely under pressure in the first half, and I think yeah, it's that's the disappointing thing. I think in around the scoreline in 15-7 half time, you know, probably lucky to be at 15-7. It's something I felt we were starting to grind the game down in the conditions. We got the kickers to put us in positions, set piece. We're starting to get dominance, um, but it's probably I, like I, like I said earlier, I thought it was more of a an away day feeling as opposed to being liberty giving. Uh, as as supporters, something to really latch on to. But I think second half there was crumbs of comfort, but it'd only be crumbs.